today KD Cuts we are making a belt mounted knife sheath for a T-handled knife. Now I've cut out all the leather. Here's the back plate. Four or five ounce veg tan. Medium brown. That's going to allow it to mount on a belt. Here's the front cover. A, a chrome tan in a tannish brown sort of color. And then here are the pieces to capture the magnets. The magnet holder is four or five ounce veg tan and these two pieces are two three ounce. First thing we're going to do is mount the magnets to the front cover. Then we'll sew the construct together. I've prepared this knife sheath for stitching. I've captured the magnets. Okay, there's two 12 millimeter magnets in there. I've created stitch lines using my craft tool eight per inch chisel set. I've done a stitch line on the back. So I'll sew these up, come back, and be ready to create a belt sheath with a magnetic capture. I finished my stitching to capture the magnets. So next is glue the two halves together and I'll have a belt mounted sheath, belt sheath for a T-handle knife. prepped the knife sheath for sewing. I've got a stitch line that I've punched in using the three millimeter, my three millimeter chisel set. You can see my um, white stitch line that holds for the holding the magnets in place. So I'm going to go away, stitch this sucker up, finish the edges, come back and show you what it looks like. We're done. A key handle knife sheath with a magnetic capture for a belt. Now, I didn't say this in the beginning, but the basic dimensions are three and a half by three and a half. There you have it mounted on the belt. I put in two rivets. Okay, and the important thing about this design is the magnets, okay, are attached to the front panel. If the magnets were attached to the back panel, it wouldn't be as effective of a closure because the knife, when it's riding on your body, could be pulling away slightly. Okay, so important thing, mount the magnets on the front, inside the front cover. Uh, these two rivets will help cinch the sheath down, and you got it. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hit the like button down below from a YouTube channel and stay tuned for other topics, interesting topics in leatherwork.